Hey, what's up folks? In this video, we're going to be talking about the get checkout command. So most of you probably already know that you can use get checkout to switch to another branch. But did you know that you can also use get checkout to switch over to another commit? So we'll be going over both examples in this video. So let's get started with switching over to another branch. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. I have the uh, git bash window here open. And basically I'm going to do uh, git branch just to list all the branches that I have. Now I don't have any available, so I'm going to have to create a few. Um, so let's create one and we'll call it feature slash example. Okay. Now you'll see that this won't work. And the reason for that is because we don't have any commits. Okay. So we have to create a couple commits. Now, uh, the commits that I'm going to create are going to be used for both switching to a new branch example and switching to a, a commit example. So anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'll add a file and this commit uh, for the commit message, I'm just going to type in create file. Okay. All right. And then uh, for the next three commits, basically what I'm going to do is uh, add a number, okay, and then uh, for that commit, I'll just call it number one, and I'll just repeat the process, so line two is two, so I'll add that, call that number two, and then for the third commit, just adding a three there adding those changes to the staging area. And for the commit message, of course, just number three. So I'll clear this up. And if I do get log, things might make a little bit more sense here. So we have four commits in total. First one was when I created the file, right? The second one um, was when I added this one here, okay? And then this one here was when I added the two. And then this one here was when I added the three. All right. All right. So we have a couple of commits. So what we can do is we can go ahead and create that branch. Uh, remember, you can use the up arrow to scroll through commands that you've already run. So where is that get branch feature example? So this right here is to create a new branch. All right. So if I do get branch, that should list all the branches that I have in my repo. And there you go. It lists master and this new branch that I just created. So to switch over to this new branch, you simply do get checkout and then feature slash example. Okay. And then right here in parentheses, uh, this basically tells you what branch you're on. So uh, previously, I was on master, and then now that I ran the get checkout command, now I'm on the feature slash example branch. All right, so we just saw how to switch over to another branch. In this example, we're going to go over how to switch to a specific commit. So I'm going to open this file here just to remind everyone of the three changes that we have. And I'm going to type in git log just to bring up all the commits that we have here. Okay. All right. So let me uh, point out that head is currently pointing to the latest commit, which is this one here. Okay. And for those who are unfamiliar with the term head, head basically is a pointer to like the current commit that you're viewing. So right now, since it's pointing to the latest commit, we're able to view all the changes, right? But if it was pointing to say like this commit, then we would only be able to see the changes up to this commit, which is basically when we created the file, right? So we wouldn't see any of these changes. Does that make sense? <clears throat> all right, so to check out a commit or switch to a commit, 
you basically type in get checkout and then you copy that commits ID. It'll go ahead and paste that in there and it'll give you this uh, block of text. All right, it says you are now in a detached head state. Basically what that means is that head is no longer pointing to the latest commit, but instead it's pointing to a previous commit. So right now it's pointing to this one. And we know that because here it says 5B94 and 5B94 is this commit's ID. Okay, so we're only going to see the changes up to 5B94, this commit. And so here you're probably wondering, well, how come it still shows the three changes here? Well, it's because I haven't refreshed the file. So if I were to close it and open it up again, you'll see that it only shows that change. Okay, and you're probably wondering, what's the point of checking out a commit? So you can go back and get a feel of what the application was like on that commit for that specific time and date, okay? Sometimes you wanna go back and just look around and see if the application worked, um, you know, how it functioned, what changes went in. So you sort of want to look around and <clears throat> make any changes uh, that you feel were left out but making changes is a little tricky, uh, but it is possible. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So let's say here, let me, uh, let me clear this. Let me clear this first. <clears throat> and let me type in git log. So you'll see that we only have access to these two commits, right? Now we're still in a detached head state, <clears throat> all right? And let me just uh, show you guys that if you find yourself in a detached head state and you want to uh, you want to make head point all the way to the front, all you have to do is just get checkout and then the name of the branch. So remember how we were on master, right? So right now it's pointing to a particular commit. But if we want to move head all the way to the front like it was before, just type in get checkout master and it'll it'll go back to the uh to the front. All right, so let me uh let me just point back to this commit. Okay, so we could go over uh that example on making changes. So we do get checkout And then we paste that commit ID, press enter. Okay, it's gonna tell us that we're in a detached head state, okay? All right, so if I open this file and let's say I want to type in the word Apple, I'll save it. Let me clear this. And if I do get status, you'll see that it reminds us that head is detached at 5B94. Now 5B94 is the commit that we're on. Okay, 5B94. See? All right, but you'll also notice that it sees your changes. It sees these, uh, these changes to Apple. What we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and add those changes to the staging area and then we'll go ahead and create a commit. And for the commit message, I'm just going to type in Apple commit. Now, if I do git log, you'll see that we now have three commits. We have this one, this one, and the new Apple commit. But what we want to do is we want to get this onto the master branch, right? We want to like merge everything. And the way we do that is what we have to do is we basically have to create a branch. We have to create a new branch that will basically have these three commits. And then as the final step, we merge that new branch with master. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a new branch. 
So we do get branch and then the name of the branch, we'll call it feature slash Apple. Okay. Now when I press enter, what happens is this new branch will inherit all the commits from where we are. So when we create this branch, it'll inherit all these commits. So we'll go ahead and create it. And now let's switch over, okay, or check out that new branch. So we type in feature slash Apple, get checkout feature slash Apple. And it says switched over to branch feature slash Apple. Okay, let me clear this again. Now if we do git log, you'll see that we are now on the feature slash Apple branch. Okay. And we have these three commits. So if I do get branch to list out all the branches that are available on my repo, you'll see that we have feature slash Apple and we have the master branch. Okay. Now remember, in feature slash Apple, we have only these three commits. And in master, we have this one, number one, number two, and number three. What we don't have is this Apple commit. And so to merge them, you use something called git merge, which we won't go over in this video. Uh, I just wanted to go over the git checkout command so that you get a better sense of how to use it, okay? Uh, but I don't want to make this video too long by um, adding a git merge. We'll learn that in the next video. But hopefully uh, you get a better understanding of how git checkout works. Remember, you can use git checkout to switch to another branch. And you can use it to switch to a particular commit. All right. Hope you guys learned something. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks.